What is up guys? Good morning here. We're here to uh, switch over a hose faucet, but instead of just replacing it with a normal single handle hose, hose faucet, we are going to put an addition onto it. We are installing this guy right here. If I can grab a hold of it. It's a hot and cold hose faucet. So let's get started. For all of you that want to see it a little bit better, this is what we're going to be installing here. It's a Woodford hot and cold hose faucet, or wall faucet, they call it. And that will be going right here where this, right here where this old one is. So we'll go downstairs, shut the water off, get everything laid out so that we can then drill a second hole and get the hot water out here. Okay. This is where we come in. We'll shut the water off here. And we will be tying in to the hot over here and just putting it out. All right. Okay, we will open up this, get the pressure off. We'll go down and cut into it. All right, so as you can see, we have the cold water coming here. We have a joist here and a joist here. So once we remove this, we're gonna to wanna to make a measurement with the new faucet and just confirm that we're gonna lay out in the right spot. We also have some wires and cables that we have to watch out for when we go to drill that new hole. So we'll get this cut and then we will, um, we'll get this cut and then we will measure everything out and make sure that our new layout is going to work. Let's go pull that. Let's go pull that old one out. While we're down here, let's just take a measurement real quick. We are seven inches over to this joist and seven inches, seven and a half over to the other joist. So we got about a 14 inch span there. We're pretty much centered on it. So we may have to drill here and here and then fill that hole in. See how it goes what's up there for wiring. As long as we say, stay on the same plane, as long as we stay on that same plane here, we should miss all the wires, so that's good. All right, let's pull this out. It will come out. Oh, they put the uh, siding right over it. Is that what happened? Nice. Let's see if we can't get that out without totally destroying the siding. And then the hole is probably just big enough for a half inch pipe. So I'm gonna have to cut that adapter off, I bet. Classic. So I'll cut it here and then I'll slide the rest in, pull it out that way. Okay. So I will take this and cut it right here. And then once I have this out, then once I have this out, I can match these up to get the right length at the truck. Slide that back in and we'll go pull that out. Um, while we're here though, let's measure this stuff out. We were seven inches over to here. So that's the joist over here. And we're seven and a half over to here. So we have a, we have a pretty decent span here. We might be able to sneak it in one way or the other. We'll have to take the new faucet out and see. 
Okay, let us unpack the new faucet. Pull that out. Oh, look at pretty spiffy looking. There we are. That's what we look like. That's what we look like. Let's see what uh, our span is. Five inches. That's what we've got. So we should actually be able to reuse this hole, just open it up a little bit more and be able to sneak it just past that joist over there. We'll go downstairs and just double check the measurement. Okay, pull this guy out. Five inches. I might actually go this way with it. Fewer wires to contend with over here, but we should clear it. Okay, so let's go back up in here. We will put the laser level off to the side. Put some of our things that fell off after a bump. Grab our hole saw kit. Grab the drill. We will go open that hole up and drill out the other one. Okay, so we want to go from here over five inches we actually have more room this way anyway we'll just shift that cold that was here over and then run the new hot to it and we should be in pretty good shape so we'll mark that out and get that drilled Okay, so we have to switch over to this style bit here because the hole saw is just not deep enough. <clears throat> the hole saw is just not deep enough and the arbor is just a little bit bigger than the hole saw itself. So uh, to get the penetration that we need, I have to switch over to this. Uh, it's not my favorite bit. It makes a little bit more of a rough hole, but uh, it'll get it done. I'm having trouble here too with the uh, camera. Out in the sun here, it's getting really hot and it's causing it to shut off and have all sorts of troubles. So we'll see if we can get through this. Hopefully you guys will be able to see. I'm gonna put it down here in the shade. And hopefully, you know, I can't really see what the angle is here. But hopefully that'll be good enough that you guys can kind of get the gist of what's going on. When you're using this bit, you can only go in about an inch and then you have to pull it out and clear it, otherwise it'll get stuck in there. All the wood chips get behind it and backed up and it just becomes a nightmare. Okay, so here's our new hose faucet. Here's the old one, so we'll kind of sit that right there. We'll sit that right there so that it's basically in line with it. And we can put that right up to it where we made the cut. So we know, 
we can stub it out to here so that we can make an easy we can stub it out to here so that we can make easy connections to it um, although maybe I'll just put the adapters in there it probably wouldn't be too bad so we'll do that if you look at this valve you can actually see in the flange itself the taper is already um, You can see that they had molded it with the taper in on the flange, so you don't have to worry about a little spacer in the back or anything. It should automatically get it so that this will tip up when you put it in and drain out. Before I uh, sweat anything up, just to make sure that I can sweat it without any pigtails, I'm gonna put it in and make sure it comes through the side of the house all right. And it looks like it does. Okay, so having confirmed, confirmed that this will fit in the hole and clear the side of the house, the sill plate and everything, we will make sure that our valves are open, clean both fittings, and sweat them in. Pardon the noise from the compressor next door. They are working on a barn right now. Actually, that's why we're putting this in so that they can have warm water for the horses in the winter time. So we'll just wait for the solder to cool and we'll wipe it off with a rag. get some stainless steel screws and we'll go put this in all right and there's what our joints ended up looking like um, some guys that really like to get cute with their solder joints um, but one thing I found you know as long as you wipe it off so you don't get any grape stripping off of it they end up looking pretty clean and being able to see that you actually soldered the joint really helps especially on bigger jobs uh, so you know that you hit that fitting because um, sometimes if you get too cute then you don't know if you hit it or not you might skip it and then if you didn't hit it well you'll find out and have a really tough time at the pressure test so with that um, let's get this in okay slide this in some of you may take offense to uh, using stainless but uh, I've had decent luck with it it doesn't interact too bad with the brass as far as I could tell and uh, it's a lot better than trying to dig out an old rusty screw. Good. Let's go hook it up downstairs.
right, without further ado, let's see how we did. That's our cold water. Looks like it's draining out too. And this is our hot water. Let's see if it gets hot. Oh yeah. Getting good warm water there. And hot too. Looks even better. And both. Oh yeah. Drains out so it won't freeze in the winter. I like it. I think we're done. Look at what started floating over here. I don't know how long he was here for, but uh Uh, no longer living. Still soft, so he's not dried out yet, but uh, yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Put him, we'll put him off to the side. I don't know. Put him in the shade so he doesn't bake. Maybe, maybe he'll come back to life. I doubt it though. Uh, alrighty guys, so that wraps it up here. Again, sorry about the compressor. That's the that's the barn they're building back there. Um, but that wraps up our job here today. We got that hose faucet taken care of. Um, that's installed. They got hot and cold. So if you got something out of this and you like the video, please leave a like down below. Uh, please leave a comment. I always enjoy reading those. And if you would, please subscribe so that you can catch us on the next one. See ya.